How's it going guys? I just wanted to make a video here um, to share uh, my experience with the a 2 kilowatt um, Chinese diesel heater in a T5 van. So I put it in here behind the um, driver's seat. I have my ledger battery underneath there. Uh, in hindsight I probably would have put the diesel heater underneath the seat and probably put the battery elsewhere or tried to fit the two of them in. Um, because it was a bit tricky when I was underneath the van trying to um, run the pipes. But anyways, the reason I'm making this video uh, is because I had some issues with these controllers. So, um, the, the heater came with this fan um, controller. Um, and then I ordered one of these lads uh, online. And the reason I did is because there was a thermostat on it. And also you get a little remote control that you can turn it on. And I just like the idea of being able to see, see, you know, set timers. You can set a timer, etc. Um, but really, the the reason I'm making this video is because um, when you get these, they're already pre-programmed, and I don't think that they're programmed. Uh, you don't know what model um, heater it's programmed for. So, like all the settings are different for the two kilowatt, the five kilowatt, and the eight kilowatt. So as mine is a two kilowatt. Um, when I plugged in this um, control panel, it was o it was overfeeding the heater, and as a result, it kept smoking, and it kept sutting up on me. So uh, I was trying to diagnose all the different problems, but it actually is down to this bad boy. And I'm going to show you how to put in the correct settings, and um, it sorted all my problems out. It's running really well now. Um, it's running very clean, no smoke whatsoever. Um, so if any of you have problems, uh, try this. So we hit the slot here, settings button, and that'll bring you into it. set the time. I'm gonna hit it again. This is a timer. We're not interested in that. Okay, so this is your lock screen. You're gonna have to put in the code one six eight eight here. So one. Okay. Six, sorry, eight, okay, and eight again. Okay, now this is going to bring you into the settings where you can change. So the pulse rate, you want to have this at one hertz. Okay, this is the the low um, low pulse. Okay, you're going to change whatever that your first number is there. You're going to change that to one hertz. Hit OK. Oops, sorry, I'm going to have to go back in there again now because it wasn't fast enough. One, sorry, six, eight, eight. Okay, one hertz. Okay, I've already this program, so I'm not going to change it. You hit it again. Now the second one, you want to change that to three hertz. Okay, hit OK again. This is your uh, fan speed. You want to change this to two zero five zero. Okay, for the low fan speed, and you can change it there by going along, and then. For the high fan speed, you want four five five zero, and hit OK. And this is your twelve volt. Leave that if you have a twelve volt battery. I'm not sure what this means, and I'm not sure what that means. Hit OK and OK again, and you're back to the start. So if you use those settings, um, you should get a good result for a two kilowatt um, heater. Um, like I said, I've been. Um, I got those settings from another person on the group and I just thought uh, I tried them out and it solved all my problems straight away. So um, my main problem was when I used this first, it was programmed for a five kilowatt. When I switched back to this, um, it must have remembered the settings from this and that was uh, causing it to over smoke as well. But it's now working very well and I'm very happy. So I hope this video is useful to people out there. They're not hard to program. You just have to know how to program them. Um, so obviously if you have a 5 kilowatt, the amount of air and uh, the fuel that's being pumped into your heater is going to be different. It's going to be more. Um, but obviously for the 2 kilowatt, which is what I have, um, you don't need as much air and fuel. And you need to make sure that the parameters are right in order for it to run cleanly. So I hope that's useful. Take care.